Go. Good morning. My name is Doreen Bradshaw, and uh, I am on uh, renting the extractor uh, for the summer of 2017. And I just wanted to tell you because uh, about the uh, refractometer. It is part of the rental agreement and for our members to use when they are extracting honey. This year is not too much of a problem, but you do want, especially at the end of the year, when you have to take all your honey out, you want to be sure that it isn't over 18%. If it is, then it may uh, uh, ferment and be more like a wine than a honey, and of course it's not usable. So uh, you want to be very careful if, uh, with that. Anyway, to, with the refractometer comes in a case. Uh, it is a very complex tool and we must make sure it isn't jarred or dropped or anything like that. It's something you want to be very careful with. It is in a good box and uh, can certainly take some jarring, but it's something you want to be very, very careful with. If it's out, then of course we've got problems, so we want to be very careful. You can open it up and take it out, and the first thing you do is you can put a little bit of the, this on, just enough to cover it, and then you put it down and you look through, and it has to be at whatever they state. I think it's at, um, it says on here, I think it's around 18%. So if it shows 18% when you look into it, then you know that it, the caliber is correct. What you do then is you take a damp cloth, you clean all of that off. It has to be a very soft, you do not want to, um, to uh, scratch anything here. It's very important because it does have an effect on the outcome. So take your soft cloth, then you want to dry that off because you certainly don't want moisture there when you're going to do. There is a little groove here, or all the way around. Make sure that groove is dry as well. Then you put on a little bit of honey. It's just enough to cover. And that lens in the middle. And then you put this down. You put it in the light, towards the light. And then you check and see what it is. Now, this honey is at 17%. If it's over 18, 18.2, uh, it, uh, it is a problem and you want to mix some very thick honey with it or, and that sort of thing to bring it down to the 18%. This is 17%, it's fairly dry and it can go as dry as 16% and that is really dry honey. Uh, if you want to cream your honey, you want it around 17.5. And so that just tells you that it's going to be a little harder than that creamy like butter uh, creamed honey that you really like. So that's just a note, if it's around 17.5, that's really good for creaming. Then when you're finished, you take this back you wash it very gently. Do not use a running tap or anything around this. Just get nice. A very soft cloth is very, very important for doing this. And get all that honey off. It's going to take a little bit. Make sure you get in that crack all the way around. Then you take a very soft crop uh, and you get right in that crack all the way around and dry it off. Make sure it's very dry. When I check it, I generally leave it out for a little while and make sure that the air dries it as well because I probably there'll be some tiny bits in there of moisture and then I close it up 
put it back in. Make sure this is on tight and lay that in and close it up and put it away. Or you would put it in the bag but uh, and bring it back. Make sure you're very careful with it that it doesn't get banged. Thank you.